this moment, let us hear an address coming from Christina and Cassandra M. Cueco with highest honors from grade 10 batch 2022. Let's give her a round of applause. Respected principal, teachers, guests, administrators, dear parents, beloved friends, completers, graduates, ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant afternoon to all of you. It is a pleasure for me to be standing here in front of you as we celebrate our completion day with great happiness within our hearts. The past few years of my high school days here in San Roque had been a great journey and I can't deny that the experience is indeed a roller coaster. I can't consider all of these experiences as negative ones because some of those are remarkable, unforgettable, and worth keeping. Now that we have already made it, this is not the end of our journey, but the beginning of a new chapter of our lives. The lessons we have learned in class will surely help us get through the next stage, which would also help us in becoming the better version of ourselves and eventually makes us more human. However, we wouldn't be here today without the constant support of our parents and with the help of our teachers who guided us, us who guided us all the way here to my fellow completers thank you for letting me experience such wonderful company my high school life wouldn't be this memorable if it's not you guys you truly made this journey worthwhile and colorful to our teachers, especially to our marvelous advisor, Ms. Loretta, thank you for guiding and molding not only our minds, but also our hearts, which made us become the better version of ourselves. You are indeed an agent of change. To our dear parents, thank you for your efforts and sacrifices just to fulfill our needs even if it causes you blood and sweat. Nothing in this world could ever repay the love and support you give. And we hope through this achievement, we can all make you proud. It is a fact that we wouldn't be here without you. Thank you very much. Now, before I end the speech, I would like to say that these medals and awards do not represent our success. It is only the representation of our sacrifices, hard work, and consistency. We do not need an award or medal to prove that we are something special. Having talents and abilities given by God is already worth congratulating for, and this is what this day is all about. Once again, congratulations! We deserve to give ourselves one huge round of applause. Thank you and good afternoon. Thank you so much, Christina, for those hard 